Poppy seed tea can kill you. Let's just get that fact out of the way now. Sure, you can use it in cakes, muffins, salads, and not have any problems at all. Totally non-lethal. It's even used in some cosmetic products as a skin moisturizer and lovely exfoliant. So what are those nitty gritty facts that make puppy seed tea potentially lethal? I'm gonna tell you all about it right now on Eccentric Nature. And now, the dangers and benefits of poppy seed tea. According to the DEA, poppy seeds are only a tiny part of the worldwide trade in opium products. But make no mistake, poppy seeds do come from the narcotic poppy plant which produces opium. You naughty little plant. So how does this make poppy seed tea lethal? The main difference is that traditional poppy seeds you get from the store for muffins or other baking delights are washed poppy seeds. What is normally used to make poppy seed tea are unwashed poppy seeds. And that is where the danger lies. While yes, the poppy plant is classified as an illegal controlled substance, the seeds have squeaked by uncontrolled because they don't normally contain opium. But that isn't the case for many unwashed poppy seeds. The opium alkaloids of morphine, codeine, and its other narcotic substances can be obtained by washing or soaking large quantities of unwashed poppy seeds to harvest the residual coating where the narcotic properties are contained. So essentially what you're doing is making morphine tea. Of course, you have to wash hundreds of poppy seeds to make a single cup, but you can still buy unwashed poppy seeds online. True, some of them have the dangerous alkaloids removed, but many haven't. Usage of unwashed poppy seeds for their narcotic properties has an interesting history. These poppy seeds were used to create the famous product known as laudanum. Laudanum has been around since the 16th century, when it was invented by the Swiss physician Paracelsus. And for many years, it was used for medicinal purposes to help people in pain. But it really wasn't until the 20th century that it started getting banned because of its addictive properties. And just like laudanum, this is the same dilemma with poppy seed tea. While many people use it as a potential painkiller, others use it just to obtain the narcotic properties of the opium. And there are many cases of people using it as a means to help ease themselves down from full-on heroin addiction. The problem with this is that people have been known to get addicted to poppy seed tea as well. In a survey taken among patients at an opioid rehabilitation center, 46% of patients reported that they had tried poppy seed tea. Five of the patients also said that poppy seed tea was their main source of getting their opioids. In the United States alone, the DEA claims that 12 deaths have been reported as directly linked to unwashed poppy seed tea in recent years. The researchers studying poppy seed tea believe there may have actually been more than that. The problem is, is that when doctors see morphine in a patient's toxicology, they generally don't think of poppy seed tea as a possibility. And while you can drink it, it sure doesn't taste good. Because apparently, poppy seed tea is extremely bitter. We're talking according to some people, face curdling make you gag bitter. So people will often use lemonade and other tasty products to help make it more palatable. Holy cow, why would you even risk having this then? There are so many other great teas out there. Well, it's because it's such a great painkiller. Much like people who turn to cannabis, which is still illegal in many places as well, some people with chronic pain find poppy seed tea one of the only products that gives them the relief from pain they need. And as such, they deem it's worth the possible risk in order to help themselves with chronic pain problems that often debilitate them. Sidebar! There is an outside possibility if you're having regular poppy seeds. You could test positive for morphine in a drug test. So if you're going in for a drug test, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to lay off the poppy seed muffins, dude. Oh man, but they're so tasty. <laughs> I know, dude. I know. Other benefits of poppy seeds. While we're talking poppy seed tea, I thought it appropriate to go ahead and sneak in all the other benefits that poppy seeds can provide. The most prominent and well-researched benefit is how poppy seeds can actually help in diagnosing an abnormal connection between the bowels and bladder known as vesicoenteric fistula. First, you need to ingest 35 to 250 grams of poppy seeds in a yogurt or in a tasty beverage. Then in just 48 hours, if poppy seed is detected in your urine, then that means bummer you've got the condition. Poppy seeds have also been shown to help with fertility, as they're known to help clear mucus from fallopian tubes, helping those sperm cells achieve their goal. 
as an extra added bonus. Poppy seeds are supposed to help boost your libido as well. Another important benefit is that poppy seeds can help with insomnia. And this is especially true with poppy seed tea, as its calming effects can make many people drowsy as well. Luckily, regular poppy seeds can help with this as well. Other potential benefits of poppy seeds include improved bone strength, digestion, diabetes, dandruff, diarrhea, mouth ulcers, and blood pressure. They can also help with stopping kidney stones, and thanks to its zinc content, poppy seeds are also good for helping the thyroid. The antioxidants in poppy seeds are supposed to help improve vision and thwart eye diseases like macular degeneration. Side effects. When used properly, either by having washed poppy seeds or non-narcotic poppy seed tea, the side effects really aren't that bad. In fact, it's generally considered safe to consume up to around 250 milligrams of poppy seeds per day. Though those who have exceeded this have been known to have blockages in their bowel movements. It's also likely safe for pregnant women, but it's suggested not to use larger medical doses when pregnant. Though not terribly common, people with allergies to hazelnuts, rye grain, kiwi, sesame, or buckwheat are also possibly allergic to poppy seeds as well. Well, no bones about it, it can be deadly. Those who know about the risks can be very good when knowing how to regulate just how much to take when having poppy seed tea. But if you're thinking about trying it for the first time, you're gonna need to be extremely careful about doing so, okay? I want you to be alive after watching this video. Have you actually tried poppy seed tea before? I'd love to hear your experience with it. Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to learn about other safer teas, then please watch the benefits of lavender tea or the benefits of rose tea next. Please be kind, take care of each other, and if you're looking for a new tea to try out, unless you've really done your homework and understand the risks, again, avoid the poppy seed tea.